Browning for the IVTV News for Monday, July 7, 2008. Our first topic is our successful shooting of the Texas Road episode of EKPU, and it has finally been edited. It should be on Facebook tonight, and we are currently looking into the following locations, i.e. Um, Fort Malden and Amherstburg, hopefully will be the first week of August. We're going to try to be doing the Mackenzie Courthouse, uh, Laurier Hall at the University of Windsor, and the Assumption University. Um, currently, I am trying to get permission to see if we could do the uh, investigation of the paranormal activity at uh, St. Thomas Mental Hospital in St. Thomas. Hopefully, uh, with this, we get uh, more stuff on film and get that edited to you. Our second story is the beginning of the Q&A day next Monday night, where we will be stopping pedestrians at random and doing a complete physical. <laughs> no, just kidding. We'll be asking for five random questions, and we'll be doing this right before the Monday news is shot each week. I know we've been saying this for a while, but surely we can't be serious. Our third story is that Rhonda's kitchen was successfully shot and pissed on. I mean, was successfully taped last week and will introduce the show with her famous macaroni salad. It is rumored that she will be making some goulash this week. Yum. Our next guest has been a guest at our show, but we didn't quite get his interview into the format we have today. So here goes nothing. <laughs> it's just Phil, don't worry about it. We're also coming up with new nominees. It's a new award that we're coming out. It's called the Douchebag Award. Now, if you can think of anybody out there who you think is a real douchebag, then send in that person's name and why the person should be awarded the Douchebag of the Year Award. And you can't nominate Mike because he's already been nominated. <laughs> so, with my first nominee, I'm nominating my sponsor, <laughs> Phil Tracy, as a douchebag. I second that! Hi, I'm Mike. I'm your host for Monday Night IV TV News, July 7, 2008. With me tonight is a guest that we had on the show, our very first episode. Um, Phil Tracy! Welcome, Phil! Um, I'm going to, you know what, I was going to ask five questions, and I'm not, I have a real difficult time with this because I can never think of any damn questions. Our writers are on strike. They don't think it's fair that we keep feeding them pop and chips and they want more. Go figure. So tonight I'm going to be talking to Phil about um, a couple of questions I've came up with out of random thought, and uh, here we go. Uh, Phil, what did you think of the, yeah. you reviewed the tapes yeah. uh, and the video on the, on the computer about uh, our EKPU. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you think? I thought it was uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I know I was at the house there when uh, you guys were all preparing to go and uh, kind of jealous that, you know, uh, my laziness left me behind. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to uh, being able to go out with you guys uh, on some of your other locations. Um, like going over that footage, it was a pretty interesting. Um, I'm sure as you know, as time goes on, and, um, the team is able to expand on some equipment. Uh, it'll it'll become even more interesting. Yeah, and it's it's really fascinating because um, basically it's just a bunch of people burning time, and this is a hobby for everyone. So oh, yeah. you've been fascinated with this for a long time. Oh, absolutely. Life, yeah. I'm a true believer in uh, you know paranormal activity in the afterlife. Um, the whole idea, the ideology behind it. Um, throughout my life, if I, I truly believe that uh, I've experienced my fair share of the paranormal. Um, you know, and one of the reasons I, I didn't go with you to uh, the Texas Road is, uh, you know, uh, personal 
incident that happened you know, at the Texas Road uh, graveyard as a teenager. Um, it's, it's just a place I just won't go back to. Um, but, you know, uh, other sites that you know, I, I will go to. And uh, I know, obviously, I'm, we're trying to, as the team, trying to get Fort Malden, and uh, you expressed that you wanted to go on this one. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Fort Malden. I've been there uh, a number of times, you know, throughout my life. Uh, Going, you know, as a kid uh, on field trips to Fort Malden, uh, being there as uh, as an adolescent, uh, and well, not so much doing vandalism, but you know, not uh, being straight up and honest, being there. But uh, you know, I would like to, you know, go there as an adult uh, with an open mind, uh, and and really look into some of the uh, the odd stories that I've heard throughout my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're, earlier, when we were sitting on the front <coughs> porch waiting for my, my brother to show up, you're talking about um, an island, um, Point Pelee Island Perry's or something? Island. Perry's, Perry's Island. Island. Yeah, that was uh, uh, a key point in uh, the War of 1812, with, uh, where Captain Perry actually, uh, you know, stationed troops and where he was actually killed. Uh, there was a lot of uh, paranormal activity uh, that was re that been recorded in, in Perry's Tower. Uh, I know the island in, uh, and Putin Bay is, is, uh, is actually run by the University of Ohio, and uh, that would be a really awesome place to go to. How would we get to somewhere like that? The like only place, the only way to get to Perry's Island is by plane or by boat. It's really, really two ways. Is, is there a plane we can leave from Ontario to get there? Yeah, or? you can take the Peely Island Clipper, um, go over to Peely Island, and then there's uh, personal shuttles, uh, private shuttles that all go over to Perry's Island. They've got a small landing strip on the island. It's a, it's a kind of a small island, uh, about a mile and a half long, uh, but it's really, really cool. Is there anybody living on that island? Yeah, they're, they're, I believe they're, well, last time I was there, there was about 24, 25 permanent residents on that island. But in, in the summertime, it can be quite a, uh, a, a party spot. It's, uh, it's a real hot spot for boaters. Mm -hmm. so.